Keeping up with today's fast-paced world can be difficult. Accelerate your life with iFiber Communications high-speed internet. Surf, stream, and game like never before. Give us a call at 509-754-2600 and find out more at iFiber.tv. The Wenatchee Valley Skyhawks played game number three of their inaugural season schedule Sunday night at Town Toyota Center, battling the Reno Express on home turf for the second consecutive contest. After kicking off to Reno and stopping them on the game's opening drive, Wenatchee took a 6 to nothing lead on a 24-yard touchdown pass from quarterback Jarvis Alston to wideout Ramel Workman and then doubled their advantage to 12 nothing with a 26-yard interception return for a touchdown by defensive lineman Gabriel Collins. The Skyhawks piled on another unanswered score when defensive back Devontae Solomon pounced on a backwards pass fumble in the Reno end zone, capping off a first quarter that saw Wenatchee race ahead by the count of 18 to nothing. In the second quarter, the Express pushed back with a pair of touchdowns that brought them to within four points of the Skyhawks at 18-14, but Wenatchee countered by closing out the half on a two-yard scoring chuck from Alston to wide receiver Michael Lyons with no time remaining on the clock to take a 26-14 lead into the halftime locker room. Early in the third quarter, Reno was driving and knocking on the end zone door when middle linebacker Kyron Watson picked off a pass and took it back 48 yards for a touchdown to extend the Skyhawks' advantage back to 18 points at 32-14. Alston and Lyons teamed up for their second score only a few minutes later to give Wenatchee their biggest margin of the contest at 38-14, and on the ensuing possession, Kyron Watson struck for his second interception of the game, setting up Alston's third touchdown pass of the contest, this time from 16 yards out to running back Christopher Lamar, giving the Skyhawks a lead of 46-14. Reno tallied a meaningless touchdown in the fourth quarter, and Wenatchee tacked on two more for good measure on a one-yard keeper by Alston, as well as the Florida Natives' fourth touchdown pass of the game and second to Ramel Workman, covering 40 yards to finish off a 60-20 blowout victory that propelled the Skyhawks to a season record of 2-1. and one. Wenatchee's defense was once again flying high and proved equal to the ferocity they displayed in their last performance against the Express by forcing four turnovers and scoring three touchdowns as well. The 60 points for and 20 points against were a respective all-time and season high and low for the team. Wenatchee will take on Reno for the third straight time in their next contest at the Reno Events Center on Saturday, April 20th. Reporting for iFiber One Sports, I'm Chris Hansen.